So why do we care about this thyroid gland? This butterfly-shaped gland, which is located in the base of our neck, virtually influences every cell, tissue, and organ in our bodies. When the thyroid gland is not functioning appropriately, it kind of produces too much thyroid hormone, which makes our body speed up, and that's called hyperthyroidism. On the other hand, if the thyroid does not produce adequate thyroid hormone, your body will slow down, and that's called hypothyroidism. In either way, if your thyroid does not function normally, neither will you. Number one, TSH test, thyroid stimulating hormone, which is a very simple blood draw. We're looking at levels outside of the normal ranges. Number two, thyroid antibody test. In some thyroid problems, your body may make thyroid antibodies that can attack your own thyroid. By measuring levels of thyroid antibody, we can actually help diagnose the cause of the thyroid disease. Number three, the radioactive iodine test. This is another interesting test that is done in nuclear medicine department. You've probably heard about the connection between iodine and the thyroid gland. The thyroid has to pull in iodine from the bloodstream to make thyroid hormone. With this, we can do a radioactive iodine test. We can have the patient swallow a capsule that has small amount of iodine with radioactivity. We can track this molecule in the body. By measuring the level of radioactive iodine taken up by the thyroid gland, we can tell if your thyroid is functioning appropriately. So the bottom line is, if you have symptoms such as dry skin, fatigue, constipation, brittle nails, depression, increased anxiety, nervousness, or loose bowel movements, talk to your doctor about checking your thyroid function test. The good news is there's a lot we can do for you if you are diagnosed with a thyroid problem.